Hello friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a butterfly chart which is also called as a pyramid chart or a tornado chart. And also I'm creating another chart which is showing the comparison of the growth year over year by category and overall. Actually these two charts are very important and they need to be together because these two charts are helping each other. The reason is butterfly chart is only showing only the information of two series that is 2012 and 2013 currently in this chart and they are giving only information of revenue numbers or whatever numbers we have considered here. There is no growth information uh, in this chart so that we require another chart which is showing by category growth year over year and also overall growth. Now let us see how to create this chart very quickly and also I have created another drop down which is triggering two consecutive years based on the number which I have selected. Here I have selected 2010. So this is actually giving two years consecutive years and accordingly the data is popped up. So let us see how to create this chart very quickly. I have created a sample data and I'm using this data to create the pyramid chart or a butterfly chart and the helping chart which is a growth chart or a minimal chart. First of all, I'm selecting all the uh, center information and I'm pasting into a separate location. Now I have to create one drop down that is from the developer tab, go to form controls and I'm selecting a combo box. For the combo box, I need to give some source information that is source. Uh, if I go to the format control, it will ask me to give the input range. So I need to select the input range, selecting all the years. transposing them and I'm creating another list. Then I'm formatting the format control and then input range, selecting the first range which I've selected the list and then the cell link will be on top of this. So the moment I select the drop down, this is generating a number and index there. With this help, I'm creating one index formula. comma so it is giving me the first position 2010 so obviously it is giving this in this drop down if i select now 2011 automatically it is giving me 2011 so this is my anchoring point to or a lookup value to create the database into the sheet 4 where on which i'll be building my pyramid chart or butterfly chart so this is another year which will be this plus 1 same way I'm creating the index uh, match function. So this is giving me the next, the consecutive year. So that when I use the drop down of one year, both the years are appearing. Now what I do is I'll just select this. And here I'm actually pasting, linking the data of this year. Now if you look at if I change the drop down to 2012 automatically these years are changing. So what I did first I created a drop down and selected the input range of the first list and then I'm creating a index number with the help of the drop down uh, whatever the form control and then adding another series of uh, another list of all the years there the index will be the first index plus one and then accordingly I'm creating index uh, formula which is giving me the consecutive years. Now I need to populate the consecutive years data to the sheet where I'm creating the chart. So I'm using index formula, index and match rather, index. The array will be all the uh, values, comma. And then let me make this as constant comma the match formula now will be match row index USA comma all the centers comma zero and then again another match now I need to give a column index that is nothing but the year 
comma all the years zero now the values have popped up so it's a simple formula index match formula which i've used now if i change this 2012 to 10 automatically the years will change consecutively so 2010 and 2011 now i need to create a butterfly chart to build a butterfly chart i require five data series that is if you look at this chart one two three four and five so three dummy series and two a normal series currently i have the normal series but i need to create dummy series for that i name them as left right center in case of left using max of leftmost year minus the first value so it will create some dummy number and then accordingly drop down and copy down in the same way for right max the rightmost year minus the first value and copy down the formula in case of center i'm using same number for all the categories 1500 copy down now i need to create a chart i'm using a chart type 100 percent stacked bar i need to set the data the way i require now for that i need to select under design tab select data and make sure that the 2010 2011 and left right center should be left side for that switch row to column and then arranging the categories or rather series in a proper way so left has to be on the top of everything so i'm using this um, uh, navigating key move up center will be in between 2010 and 2011 and the chart is ready now i need to make the formatting selecting the dummy series and making them invisible same way center and then left so this is the chart is ready now i don't require these uh, percentages and i want the category name in the middle for that i need to add label select the data series add label and then format the data labels then select category remove values so the category name is in the middle I don't want this category this side and also I don't want left right center separately so I'm selecting them one by one and then deleting them adding data labels design or rather right click add data labels and then format the data labels so inside base that's fine now again right click add data labels format the letter labels inside base rather inside end so now the numbers are sitting properly now i wanted to make sure that the background is nicely made for that i'm selecting format selecting the shape fill this and i'm using a gradient I need to make these values as white so that they're visible properly here as well so the butterfly chart is now ready now i need to create a growth chart for that i need all the center names here and i wanted to bring all the center names in an abbreviated manner that means i'm using a formula called upper and then uh, left select usa 
comma two only two digits I want and it should be in uppercase across so if I look at the formula and copy paste down sorry there's comma down so I'm getting I need to get UK as well so these are the values and growth rather year year over year growth so this divided by this minus one so this is the growth of all then same thing I can do for total as well so this divided by this minus one now I'm selecting only the centers growth and I'm making the format properly selecting only the centers and I'm creating a column chart so I need to do some changes to this chart so it will become a minimal chart for that purpose I'm selecting the data series formatting it I'm increasing decreasing the gap width so that they, the bars the columns come together little more now I'm making this format as a smaller one I don't require this and then I can just remove this as well now I need to add sorry I need to add some I need to, first of all I need to remove the background and fill etc and make this the format the sheet should be without grid lines so that it looks nice and I don't want the grid lines in the chart as well so now the chart is ready now I need to create another donut chart for that 13% is the overall growth so rest is 1 minus 13% so is equal to 1 minus 13% oh, it's coming here yes minus 13% so I'm selecting these two and creating a donor chart selecting the higher part the maximum part and making the format to null so no shape fill but I wanted to give a kind of uh, line so that it looks it is there but the really the growth is not there and I am adding data label to only the part which is real growth so I am giving a data label and making bold changing the format and then send this back adding the minimal chart and just really need to make sure that some kind of formatting is happened now now I wanted to add this chart in between now I'll place this chart first on the top and then I wanted to group these charts together so that when I can I can move them easily and I'll say send this back and then it is on top of it and design rather format and shape fill is maybe this and I wanted to make this as a gradient now it is a middle gradient that's good now let me make all the elements to white add data labels and make them also as white now the chart is ready make this little aside or like in between rather aside yes this is what a butterfly chart and growth chart if I change this 2011 now the dates are now years are showing 2011 and 12 consecutively and overall growth is 16 percent and by center each center has got 12 14 14 19 and 19 these are the growth percentages 
This chart is very useful for comparing this kind of year over year growth along with the numbers growth in a butterfly chart and also by center and overall growth as a percentage in the minimal chart. Hope you like this chart uh, and you like this video. Kindly uh, like this video and share this video. As usual, try to subscribe my channel so that you will get uh, latest updates as and when I upload a new video. Thank you very much.